have a continuing of rain here for us. I tried to make a good transition there to make it good for you outside, but man, Mother Nature is making it feel like the holiday season as temperatures dropped today. Let's see, take a look outside. This is our mobile 11 unit there in Eastland, near Palapinta County now. Uh, continue to drive its way out towards the west. So as you can see, just a cold rain out there. No switch over in the precipitation just yet. That is further to the west. In the Metroplex, a couple of scattered showers around. The rain chances and rain coverage will be increasing as we go into the overnight hours. On the wide view, you can see that counterclockwise turn with the area of low pressure in the upper levels that is shifting its way closer towards North Texas. The storms we saw earlier today now pushing up in parts of Oklahoma. Out to the west, though, near Abilene, that's where we do see some snow showing up on the radar and have had some reports of some snow on I-20 and some accidents there because the temperature is cold enough in that area. We don't have that really cold air here in North Texas. We're still seeing the area of low pressure holding on. But into the evening hours, here's the future sky forecast. As we've been saying for the past two to three days, our forecast thinking has been down towards the west and southwest is where we're going to see the majority of that rain switching over to snow. West of Erath County, down in Eastland County, stretching our way up to between Breckenridge and Graham. And that is still the forecast as we go into the overnight hours. So here through the majority of the Metroplex remaining relatively uh, Quiet for us, often on rain through the remainder of the night, but remaining a cold rain, uh, the snow and the accumulating snow will still be out to the west before we see the precip taper off going through tomorrow. So the snowfall forecast with this latest thinking is still out to the west, maybe a near a half of an inch to near an inch in a couple of spots, but I've kind of given a range of a dusting to two inches of snow. That does include just near Palo Pinto County, down through Erath County, and to the west, stretching through Graham and Breckenridge as well. I think the changeover that rain snow mix is going to be west of 35 and then the cold rain still holding on for us. So we'll watch this as we go through the remainder of the night. And that's where that winter weather advisory remains in effect from Jack County down to Erath County until 9 tomorrow. Other story, our temperatures are 12 to 15 degrees colder than this time last night. It is 47 in McKinney to 49 in Dallas, 60 in Athens. So the cold front continues to march its way down to the southeast. Our winds are sustained out of the north at 25 in Bowie to 26 in Gainesville, but we're gusting up to near 40 miles per hour up in Bowie to 28 in Denton. So the wind gusts are going to increase as we go through the remainder of the night. And that wind gust forecast shows by the time you wake up early tomorrow morning, winds possibly gusting up to near 45 miles per hour. So it's going to be a very windy night tonight. And then you think, okay, well, it's going to be colder tomorrow morning. We have those winds gusting up to near 40 miles per hour. Not going to feel great. So this wind advisory does remain in effect until noon for Friday. Here's your forecast tomorrow. Rain chances in the morning. Morning sitting at 60%, dropping to 20% by 11. We start out at 38 degrees, but honey boo boo child is going to feel like 24 degrees when you wake up tomorrow morning. Feel like 37 by the time you get to one, and it's going to feel cold all day long. But thankfully, the precipitation coming to an end as we go through the day, but those winds still will be strong as we go through the afternoon hours. After that, it is going to be a really great weekend. Yes, a cold start to your weekend, but then into the afternoon hours, a lot of sunshine on the way. Upper 50s on Saturday, that's above average. Sunday, that's above average. So it's a very short lived cold Friday, and then a great weekend in stores to get that last minute shopping done into next week. Temperatures near 70 on Tuesday. Yeah, all within seven days, we can have any kind of weather with these type of systems. Wednesday is our next rain chance, saying all rain with temperatures in the low 60s and then mid 60s on Thursday. So it's going to be a cold and windy night tonight. We'll watch to see if this forecast changes and, of course, update you through the evening.